Faces Room. If you guys like Nomi and Juliet as much as we do, then you're going to love the new movie, Sherlock Gnomes, which is coming out this Easter to a theatre near you. James and I are really looking forward to it, and we're working with Paramount to help promote the new movie release. So thanks Paramount for sponsoring this video. So in this adventure, Nomi O, Juliet, and all the other gnomes have moved to a new garden in London. While they're getting their new garden ready for spring, they find out that someone is kidnapping garden gnomes all over London, including their friends. There's only one gnome to call, Sherlock Gnomes. This sequel features the voices of James McAvoy as Gnomeo, Emily Blunt as Juliet, and guess who played the voice of Sherlock Gnomes, James? Um, Johnny Depp? That's correct! Well, this movie looks like it's going to be lots of fun and to help you get inspired about the movie, James and I have a really fun DIY to share with you guys. What are we making today, James? Gnome cupcakes. These cupcakes sound tricky, Grace. Don't worry, James. We'll make them together and I'm sure it's going to be lots of fun. So what we're trying to make today is a cupcake that looks like a gnome. What? Like this, Grace? Exactly! I love those gnomes, they're so adorable. And that's exactly what we're trying to aim for today. So firstly, we'll start off with our base, which is a cupcake, and then we'll make our gnome head complete with a hat, a beard, and also a cute little button nose. And then we'll put the gnome head on our cupcake and then add some greenery to make it look like it's in a garden. How does that sound, James? Still sounds tricky, Grace. So to save time, we made these cupcakes earlier so we don't have to wait for them to cool down. We made chocolate because chocolate looks like the colour of soil that the gnomes stand in. So the ingredients that we needed were 180 grams of sugar, 180 grams of self-raising flour, three level tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a cup of milk, a quarter of a cup of water, 60 grams of butter, and one beaten egg. We placed the water and the cocoa powder in the saucepan and stirred until well combined. Then we placed the saucepan on the stove, added the butter and stirred over a medium heat until the butter melted. Then we had to wait for the mixture to cool down. When it cooled down, we added the milk to the mixture, stirred and then added the egg and stirred some more. The sugar was then added to the flour, given a quick stir and then the chocolate mixture was poured in and then stirred until well combined. James got the cupcake cases ready and then the mixture was divided into each of the cases. Finally, the cupcakes were placed in a moderate oven and left to cook and hopefully rise. The most important part was to make sure the mixture tasted good. We didn't want to, but somebody had to do it. 12 to 14 minutes later, the cupcakes were ready to take out of the oven and left to cool. So now we have 12 cupcakes. What? Hang on, there's one missing. James! Well, I don't know who's stealing all of the gnomes, but I definitely know who's stealing all of these cupcakes. Sorry. All right, well, I guess it's time to start making these cupcakes. I'm really excited. So firstly, I might actually just move these cupcakes out of the way so James doesn't get to them. And firstly, we need to make the gnome's head. So here I have some donut holes, which is actually just the center of a normal donut. And we're just gonna use one of these donut holes as its head. So firstly, what I might do is actually take one of these cones, which I'm actually gonna use as the gnome's hat, but I'll talk about it later. And I'm just gonna try and position it around its head just to try and find a good place for it so I know where it's gonna sit. 
What do you think, James? I think... I think that's pretty good. All right. So now I'm just gonna take one of my cake pop sticks and just insert it right through until it reaches near about the top. There we go. And now I'm just gonna get my floral foam and just stick it right through here while I go melt my white chocolate. So I'll be right back. I'm going to melt this for about a few minutes on 50% and make sure it's no, no more up than 50% because you're going to burn your chocolate. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I finished melting my white chocolate. And I actually forgot to mention before that we're gonna be using this white chocolate as the skin color for the gnome. So now what we need to do is just get a little bit of our peach food coloring. And we're just gonna be adding this to the white chocolate just to give it a bit more color to make it look a bit more like skin color. Just do a little drop, James. There we go. Now I'm just gonna scrape a little bit off. We don't wanna to add too much. There we go, that looks perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is just grab my donut hole again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dip my donut hole in the white chocolate and just make sure you coat it nice and evenly and do it at a bit of an angle because you don't want to accidentally drop the donut hole into the white chocolate. There we go, that looks perfect. Now I'm just gonna stick it back in my floral foam. And now usually what you do is you put this in the fridge and just let it set. And I know this is probably gonna take a little while, so what I did was I actually prepared some earlier, so now we don't have to wait for them to cool. Okay, so here are our donut holes, all ready to go. So now I'm just gonna quickly put these to the side and what we're going to do now is actually paint our hats. So we actually just cut some of our ice cream cone off to make it look like a hat. So now we actually need to make the color for the hat. So here we have some icing sugar and now I'm just gonna quickly fill up this little jug with some hot water. And we're gonna use this hot water in the icing sugar. So James, would you please do the mixing? And we're only gonna add in a little bit. Make sure you don't add in too much because you're gonna make your mixture all liquidy and it's gonna be a mess. So just a little bit. And you can start mixing, James. Okay, so now I think that our icing sugar looks runny enough and now we need to add color to the mixture. So usually most gnomes that I've seen actually have either red or a blue hat. So here we have both food coloring. And James, what color do you want to make our hat today? A blue. A blue hat, all right. So I'm just gonna add in a small drop. Maybe three, we wanna get a nice deep blue. And I just got food coloring all over my hands. <laughs> Great. That looks perfect. Now what we need to do is paint our hats with our pastry brush. So James, just put that in the sink. And I'm gonna get James to this part because I don't wanna get my hands all messy. So just hold this. And here's your pastry brush, and take it away. Now James is just gonna paint the hat until he's got all of it painted. Okay, so James has finished painting it really nicely. I'm just gonna place it on this plate. And usually what we do is we also put this in the fridge just to let it set. But again, it's gonna take a little while, so we already prepared some. Now before I get them out, James and I are just gonna quickly clean up because he made a little bit of a mess. 
Okay, so James and I have finally finished cleaning up and now what I'm gonna do is just take my hats out of the fridge. Okay, here they are. They look really good. So I'm just gonna place these cupcakes, oh, sorry, not these cupcakes, these hats over here and now we can actually start decorating our cupcakes. So firstly, we just need to ooh, get our board and we're just gonna do it over here so we don't make any mess on the bench. And now we can select our cupcakes. Take one, James. Can you also take one for me? Thank you. Now firstly, we're gonna add a little bit of greenery to our cupcakes. So here, I actually prepared some frosting earlier. Uh, earlier, <laughs> so. Um, this is just going to add a bit of greenery to it and again I did dye it green and now what we're going to do is just pipe a little swirl around the cupcake make sure we get all the edges and it's just going to give it a bit of colour and to make it look like it's in a real garden. It's a bit nervous for this but we can do it. That looks really good. Okay, it's your turn, James. Perfect, James nearly did better than me. Now what we need to do is just get one of our donut holes. Here, don't want to take that from you, James. Get one of our donut holes on the stick. James, do you want to grab one? And now what we're going to do is just st stick it right through the center of the cupcake. So make sure it's right through the center. Perfect. Thank you. It's got a bit of icing on my knuckle. <laughs> now what we need to do, I'm just going to quickly put this to the side. And what I'm going to make is actually just some white icing. And I'm going to probably use this icing for the beard to stick the hat and also the nose on. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna place the icing in the piping bag. All right, so now that we've finished with that, I'm just going to Squeeze all the icing down to the bottom and just twist it at the top. And I'm just going to put it to the side because we don't need to use it right now. Icing on my knuckle again. <laughs> so now I'm just going to get our cupcakes back. And now we get to decorate. This is definitely my favorite bit. So firstly, we're just going to grab some skin colored fondant and we're going to make our nose out of this. So James, just grab a little pink. Now you just want to mold it into a little round circle or oval. Okay, so I finished my nose and now I'm just going to grab my white icing back and now I'm just going to do a little dab on the back. There we go. And now I can actually stick it on my gnome. Perfect. All right, I think that looks really good. Now what we can do is add a little cute smile to our gnome space. And ooh, I'm just gonna be using some black writing icing just to create the cute little smile. So I'll do mine first, James. All right, James, now it's your turn. It's time to add our beard. So 
So again, I'm just gonna grab my white icing and just draw a little beard. My beard is finished, and now it's your turn, James. There we go, James, that looks really good. Now it's time to place the hat on the gnome. So, James, what color hat do you want to put on your gnome? Blue. Okay. Blue? Mm -hmm. All right. So why don't you hold this for me and I'll just put a little bit around the edge so it'll actually stick on the head. Okay, and now James can plop it right on its head. That looks so cute. Now I'm gonna place my red hat on my gnome. And on the gnome's head. They look so cute together. Now lastly, just for a little bit more decoration, I'm just gonna grab some green white icing and just add a bit of moss around the greenery, just to give it a little bit more color and to make it look a bit more like a garden. There we go, that looks really good. Now it's your turn, James. There we go, we finished. Do you like them, James? Yes. I think they look so good. James and I went ahead and made two more and they look so adorable. Should we eat them, James? No, nah, they look too cool. Yeah, I think I might save mine as well. All right, well, I hope that this DIY has inspired you to go check out Sherlock Gnomes the Movie, which will be in theaters this Easter. You can also check out the website, which is down below, and you'll be able to see the full trailer and you'll also be able to play some fun activities and games. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Sherlock Gnomes inspired DIY and we'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now. How good do they look? They look very good.